in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to just thank you uh, for allowing us to be here today in your presence in this holy temple. It's such an honor to even just grace the pulpit with such a great man of God. And, uh, and I'm just grateful that the Lord has instilled in me to make a move, being under the apostolic doctrine for 27 years. Uh, but now that I've heard the full truth and been gone down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, according to Acts 2 and 38, uh, the Lord has actually been dealing with me over the last two weeks. It's time to move on. It's time to stick with this doctrine, this holiness, as is being preached. So I'm just glad to be here. And um, again, uh, just keep me and my wife in prayer. She, again, like I said, she's the one who actually introduced me to Pastor Gino Jennings through YouTube. And she wants to come, but she was not feeling well this week. So just, I'm just praying that she's, but the Lord strengthens her body and that she comes because she wants to go down in water to get it right in the name of Jesus Christ. So once again, we thank you. I thank the Lord for safe travel and mercies over the highway and byway, 150 miles from home. But I'll make that trip for the truth. God bless you. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Deacon Faison from the uh, Greater Morning Star, Apostolic Church in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, we moved out to uh, Maryland, Largo, Maryland. And um, I just thank God for Geno Jenkins for telling me the truth, you know, as far as the baptism in Jesus' name, that I wanted to make sure I got it right. And um, I'm Keep it 100, you know, it's it been rough two weeks. Um, I usually don't put my business out like that. Um, my, me and my wife had a misunderstanding, and you know, why are you coming down here? And um, you, you already have the truth. I said, I, you know, we don't have the truth. You know, we, we, we fade away from the truth. And, um, you know, you know you, I'm seeing stuff in our church um, being um, married again, you know. You know, second wife, and and uh, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. I, I know I'm going to get hit when I get home. Y'all pray for me because I, I'm, I guess, <laughs> you know, you know, I really want my wife and family to get saved. It's a serious thing. Our soul is at stake, and um, I'm not trying to burn and go to hell for nobody. Hallelujah, you know, and um, I, I ain't trying to burn, you know, and I, I'm doing everything, every, everything it, I need to be saved because I used to be in a boxing gym. I know the brother right here. I used to box for uh, No Excuse in uh, Capitol Heights, Maryland, and we have no excuse, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the same way with God, we, there's no excuse. We got to come and accept God as, as his word, you know, praise the Lord. And I'm just happy to meet Geno Jenkins. I'm, I'm so shocked that I'm up here. I'm very shocked, and I'm real humble about, about this thing y'all doing. You know, this is, this is new to me. I never heard the word of God preached like this before, so raw and uh, so, so purified, you know. Y'all just pray for me and my family, especially my wife, because we, we really got a little bit of an argument this morning, and I, I was supposed to pick up my other, my other brother, and some more brothers wanted to come here. And it, 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 y'all, I tell you what, you got a great thing going on. And some brothers in here in D.C. wants to come down here. I probably had to vent me a van to come down here. God bless y'all saints. Greetings, everybody. Greetings. We are certainly glad of what God is doing everywhere this message goes. Glad for the elder and the deacon that is present. We'll be in Washington, D.C. this year, bringing to Washington what Washington so badly needs. And we also thank God for the sincerity of the brothers. One thing about walking with God, there's a price you have to pay. 
And you never know what that price going to be when God's words step into your life. Amen. What may be easy to one may be difficult for another. But uh, everybody must be willing to be compliant yes. to whatever God ordered. That's right. God is the boss. Yes. Oh, yes. He is the boss. Most people just see Geno Jennings and make it all about me. It's all about God. That's God right. is the boss. Yes. And being that God is the boss, what God tell you, and what I would tell you is not the same. What I would tell you wouldn't bother you. Wouldn't hurt your feelings. And in fact, I wouldn't pay you no mind. But when God speaks, the whole earth got to listen. And like the brothers said, He's not going to hell for nobody. That must be the mindset of everyone. Yeah. We greet all of our brothers and sisters that are watching around the world. God gave us a mighty victory again. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. We was in Valdosa, Georgia. They was lined up yes, sir. Yes, sir. around the walls of the convention That's center. Right. One hundred and eighty-five souls were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. One hundred and eighty-five souls in two days. Most men would never baptize that many if they was pastoring for sixty years. But because of God. That's what it is. It's all because of God that this is happening every place we go, every place. God hath chosen the truth of God and made it an example so when people read the Bible, they can see it in action. This is not taking place nowhere else in America or the world where so many thousands are hearing the gospel like this and running to it to obey it. Men and women of every race, every color under the sun want to walk with the word of God. If you have a desire to be right, God will make a way for you to get right. Now, I want to make a few announcements uh, to you that is in the Boston area. Elder Raj, Elder English, he will be back there again speaking at the United Pentecostal Church. One of the UPC churches asked Elder English to preach, and he contacted me and said, I told him, you go ahead. Yeah. You go ahead and... Uh, Lay it to them. That's right. Now to all of the brothers and sisters of the truth of God of Boston, Massachusetts. You be there with Elder English to give him some support. That's March the 25th at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at the Boston United Pentecostal Church, 73 Brooks Avenue, or rather Brook Street. 73 Brooks Street. That's in Bridgeton, Massachusetts. All of you that watch this program, Elder Rogers, the minister of Atlanta, Georgia, and Boston is where he's originally from. So uh, you get a chance to be there with our brother at the United Pentecostal Church, 73 Brooks Street, Bridgeton, Massachusetts. That's March 25th. Be there at 1 p.m. Yes. Come there to get your feelings hurt. Yeah. Amen. Because when you tell the truth, somebody's feelings going to get hurt. That's right. That's right. In fact, the one that's preaching it, his feelings going to get hurt. Wonderful. I mean, if you preach it right. 
You try to skip and hop over it, brother, you're going to have a tough time. All right, let me update you with the baptism that are taking place. Also, um, Minister Shabazz of the Mobile, Alabama Temple. He will be baptizing you that want to be baptized in the Montgomery, Alabama area at the Holiday Inn and Suites 5709 Express Drive in Montgomery, Alabama. That will take place on May the 6th. God willing, he'll get a chance to minister to you, but all of you that want to be baptized, make plans now to pack up and leave your church, including you, preacher. Leave your church. In fact, leave your robe on your chair. That's right. Or leave it in your office. You don't need it. And if you want to, want to wear it, all right. Wear it for baptism. Amen. Yeah, 59, 5709 Express Drive, Montgomery, Alabama, at the Holiday Inn and Suites. You be there on May 6th. God be our helper. All right, let me update you for those that were baptized. This is a one-week report. As I mentioned last week, uh, in Valdosta, Georgia, 185 were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And to all of my viewers, we'll be starting the new First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of Valdosta, Georgia, after the International Youth Conference. We'll be starting a new church there. We already got an instant congregation. And this is the way it is. Every place we go in the world, God give us an instant <laughs> congregation. More souls in one day than most men will have in 60, 70, or 80 years. That's true. 185 in Valdosta, Georgia, eight in headquarters, one in New Brunswick, seven in Bronx, New York, two in Del Mar, Delaware, 11 in Baltimore, four in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, 10 in Raleigh, four in Detroit, four in North Chicago, 13 in Columbus, Ohio, two in Cleveland, 11 in Indiana, seven in Milwaukee, one in Portland, three in Los Angeles, one in Las Vegas, one in Dallas, one in Houston, International baptisms, five in Johannesburg, South Africa, four in Birmingham, England, 20 in London, England, one on the island of St. Lucia, 22 in Jamaica, eight in Trinidad, Tobago, 15 in Ghana, five in Trinidad for one week, 356 souls in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's a blessing, isn't it? Now, our purpose, we're not traveling the world to sightsee. There ain't nothing I want to see that I haven't seen. Buildings and people. Just in different nationalities that needs God. But as I said before, God is using the truth of God in a mighty way. Gives me much joy because... When our enemies holler, and that's what every hit dog does. You drive your car and hit a dog, he gonna holler. And he gonna holler loud. And when our enemies holler about this great message, you can go back and investigate the enemies. They won't have an eighth of what God is doing for the truth of God. When I see the influx of men and women of so many nationalities giving up, bishops, pastors, preacher reached us out of, I believe it was Peoria, Illinois. He wanted to turn his church over to the truth of God and him and his whole congregation want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This message is making people go back, reevaluate what they have. Because when you stand before God, you ain't going before God telling him, I think I have it. Maybe. I guess. No. The word of God says we have a more sure word prophecy. I'm certain about this message. I'm not trying to figure it out. Nor do I want my years of running be in vain. 
That would be a sad thing. Imagine working for a company that gave you outstanding promises. Gave you stock in the company. And uh, you check your stock portfolio. And you read it. From the time you started, you bought 20 shares for about a dollar a share. Ten years later, you read a report that the stock have went up $175 a share. Oh, that'll make you so happy. <laughs> then uh, 30 years later, $500 a share. I said, enough to make you just, amen. <laughs> You'll be so happy in that lunchroom. <laughs> then to find out that the entire report was a fraud. After you gave the company 30, 40, 50 years of service till you retired, then to find out no retirement fund, no stock, no nothing. You leave with just the lint in your pocket. And you bear in mind you don't find out until retirement. You may be out for revenge. You may go postal. That used to that was the saying because See, like to me, all the post office workers was getting back at everything. Mailmen made up in their mind they ain't delivering mail. They threw mail in the yard or had it piled up in their house and uh, call it quit. Well, imagine being promised by some apostle, some prophet, some bishop, some elder, some evangelist some pastor, that what he's telling you is God sent information, God given, and you're shouting and falling out. He's grunting with his hands over his ears, and his wife is the assistant pastor. Ordaining little women to be deacons and evangelists. Got a senior missionary board. Junior missionary board. Little flower missionary board. Little children on a mission. Have an acting deacon staff. A hundred of them. They're not real deacons. They're just acting. I have about 45 junior bishops. Mm -hmm. You're not even a junior devil. You're just of the devil. 45 junior bishops, 1,500 junior elders. Can you imagine? imagine. Just to find out when the Lord comes. <clears throat> Only 2% of what he preached, just 2% of it was the truth. 2%. Not enough to get into the kingdom of God with. He told you Jesus Christ was God on one hand, but then told you flesh and blood was in heaven on the other. He told you that what the apostles had was right on one hand. And then at the other side of his mouth, I told you there ain't no apostles now. Come on. He told you when you get married, death to you part out of one hand. 
On the other hand, let you exchange wives like someone exchange cars. You see, the word of God, not only if you're willing to hear, must be preached, but your faith in the word must be mixed in it. You have to have your faith mixed. That's right. In the word, otherwise what is preached, it won't profit you nothing. That's right. That's right. Amen. I believe all what the scripture said. And as a result, hallelujah, glory to God. As a result of my faith in the scriptures, I'm profiting by it. That's right. Oh, yes, I am. Every, everywhere this message goes. I don't care what town, what village. It belongs to the truth of God. That's right. It belongs to it. That's why preachers are terrified when they hear that we're coming in their city. That's right. Amen. Now, Canada, you false prophets that been yelling out of Canada. I'm coming to your country. For the first Church of our Lord Jesus Christ Canadian Convocation. You already have an invitation to walk in and start swinging with Bible. You have got over there and said, Pastor Jennings is a false prophet and what he's teaching is damnable doctrine and he's trying to be like Bishop S.C. Johnson. I don't think much of no man to be like him. The only one I think enough to be like is Jesus. But Bishop Johnson been dead for 60 years. He can't defend himself. But I can defend myself. So Canada, you're welcome to come. Bring your apostles, your prophets, your elders, your bishops, your hand-me-down pastors, your two-pint deacons. All right. It'll be announced over the air where the meeting will be. You're more than welcome. I'm very cool about it. I don't even have to practice to fight you fellas. Don't have to train. Amen. This Bible, I keep it. It just stays loaded. Yes, it All does. I have to do is pull it out. That's right. And start firing. That's right. Fourth chapter of the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter Begin at four. verse one. And we're right at verse Follow one. me and hear the old troublemaker now. Yeah. Hebrews chapter all four. All right, viewers, it's time to get close now. Call all my enemies that have logged on. I know you're there, heathen. You call your pastor. Yes. Call your woman preacher. Because all of you churches that got women preachers are on your way to hell. That's I didn't say some of you, all of you, including the bishop that ordained the women. If he don't stop and shut it down, yes. your whole organization is on its way to everlasting hell. That's right. Who, Pastor Jennings? All of them. Yeah. Do I got to call you by name, Church of God in Prophecy? Church of God in Christ, UPC, PAW, Assemblies of God. Even some of you claim you're the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Got the women preachers now, but they do it on a slide. Yeah. They won't let them in the pulpit. <clears throat> they let them get a sermon or a text down there on the floor <laughs> as if you can't go to hell from that location. <laughs> you can go to hell from that location like you could from a balcony. Yeah. That's right. Get me. Follow me in the Bible. Hebrews chapter 4, we'll start at verse 1. All right. Let us therefore fear lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Do you hear this? Yes. Let us therefore fear. You that's back there in the sound booth, crank me up. Crank Williams up too. Amen. You know I love to make a lot of Holy Ghost noise. That's right. That's right. Let us therefore fear. Therefore fear. Fear. Amen. What shall we fear, Williams? Lest the promise being left us of Lest entering. Lest the promise that was left us of, of entering, entering into his rest. 
going back with the Lord. Any of you should seem to come short. Any of you, any of you should seem to come short. Short of it. For unto what? Yeah, just a minute. That's yeah. right. God made a promise. The one thing I know about God, none of his promises have ever fell to the ground. God can't lie about nothing. That's right. And when he was here in the flesh, listen good, tabernacling in the body of flesh and blood. That flesh and blood was called the Son of God, and God was in that flesh and blood using it. That's right. As a mediator between God and man and as a doorway so the world can connect to the spirit of God. That's right. That's why Jesus said, I am the door. Yes. Then declared he, I am the way, the, the way. truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. That don't mean somebody come to another God. No. That meant no one can get to the spirit or the eternal life. Until they first accept the performance of the Son of Man or the natural life. That's right. He left us an example that we should follow his steps. His steps. When he died and after he died, he rose with a glorified body, a body now that's eternal, that's right. not natural, eternal. But before he died, he told his apostles, I go away. To prepare, prepare a place, a place for, you. for you that where I am, ye may be also. In my Father's house are many mansions. In the house of the Spirit are many yeah. mansions. Hmm. Did you hear? That's right. In whose house? In my Father's house. In the house of the Spirit. That's right. That's who the Father is. That's, That's right. right. Father, the Spirit of God, the divine nature of God. That's right. In God's house, there are many mansions. If it wasn't so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I go to set things up. For you. For you. And if I go and prepare if a place for you. If I go to get things prepared. I will come again. I'm coming again. back again. And receive you unto myself. So I can get my wife. Yeah. That way yeah. I, that, that's right. You see, I have to itemize this. While he was here, he was building a people, church, bride, wife. His ministry was short, turned it over to his apostles, the ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ, who didn't flinch or went to the left or right. And the information they got from him. And by them not deviating at all from what Jesus gave them, they prospered. Yes. Until God stood behind what they preached so firmly, they were thrown in jail one time and the power of God shook the prison. Jailer gave up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Wanted to go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Peter was preaching to those from the Italian band, and while he had spake the word, Holy Ghost fell. They received that light gift, speaking another tongue as the Spirit of God gave utterance, and they had to go down in water afterward in the name of the Lord yes. Jesus. Right. Followers of John the Baptist, why Apollos, why Paul was at Corinth. Or rather, Apollos was at Corinth. Paul came to the upper coast, stopped in Ephesus, finding certain disciples and asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you've been believers? Yeah. They said, we ain't heard about it. <laughs> That's right. We haven't even heard about it. Paul said, well, how were you baptized? Yeah. We got John baptism, past truth, mm. but was presently an outdated truth. That's right. You know, past truth can be a present lie. That's right. You know, a lot of folk never heard that. No. Some folks say, truth is truth. I, 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 I. No, God is God. That's right. But you got past truth, and you got present truth. That's right. And there are many past truths was for the past to govern that past. That's right. But if you bring some past truth and tell me I got to do it today, now that past truth is converted to a present lie. That's right. 
I know that's too deep for many of you, but I'm going I'm to give it to you anyway. Give me an example, Pastor Jennings. Why, well, certainly, I, I give you uh, several of them. If you tell me today I got to offer a lamb or a goat without spot or blemish to atone for my sins, that's past truth. That's truth. That was done in the Old Testament. That's right. I don't have to do that today. No. Because the lamb, one particular lamb, was offered once, once for all. Once for all. Glory to God through the eternal spirit. That's right. Do you get me? That's right. Amen. If you tell me today that I got to be baptized with John the Baptist baptism. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. That was past truth. Past truth. Past truth. Yes. And John let you know that what he's doing is going to expire. That's right. Until he said, one coming af after me. After me. John let you know I'm going to shut down. That's right. But somebody's coming after me. Well, how good is he, John? He's mightier, mightier than I. Than I. Mightier. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. yeah. He's going to baptize you. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And with fire. And he's going to do it with fire. That's right. So when John the Baptist was here, you had to be baptized with the baptism of John. John. For when you wasn't baptized with the baptism of John, where he lived, you reject the counsel or the advice of God against yourself. Against yourself. But thank God when Jesus come on the scene That's right. and gave this good thing to his apostles, oh, yes. John the Baptist disciples got baptized all over again. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? Notice this in the 19th chapter of Acts. And at verse 3. What then, or how then were you baptized? And they said unto John, We got baptism. John baptism. Then said Paul. Then said Paul. John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. And said what? Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Christ Jesus. And when John the disciples heard that, did they hold a John baptism? When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. No. Amen. They said, we don't need to be baptized over. We got John's baptism. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And what? And when Paul had laid his hands upon what them. What was the result? The Holy Ghost came on them. And what? And they spake with tongues and prophesied. So past truth. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Oh, yes. That's right. Depending upon what that past truth is, can be a present lie. That's right. Another example. <laughs> Moses suffered you. Yeah. The put away your wife. Right. In the days of old. That's right. But here come present truth, present Jesus truth. himself. That's right. From the beginning, it was not so. It was not so. That's right. So then the boss put his foot down. That's right. In the tenth chapter of the book of Mark, Mark. and made it plain. Mark chapter 10. And said what? And we'll start at verse 10. Read fast. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. What? And he said unto them, Whosoever, Whosoever shall put away his wife. Shall put away. Because hmm. one scripture says, God hates. Putting away. Putting away, that's, that's right. right. You see, putting away have a twofold meaning. That's right. There's putting away divorce. Then there's putting away separation. That's right. God don't hate separation. No. No. Because he said in the seventh chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians through Paul yeah. that if he depart, let her depart, let her depart, but let her remain unmarried. That's right. So he don't hate separation. No. But it's divorce. Divorce. That he hate. In the book of Malachi chapter 2. That's what? And we'll start at verse 14. I'm dealing with past truth. That's right. That's right now a present lie. That's right. Get this, get this, get this, get this. Malachi chapter 2 and read verse 14. All right. Yet ye say, wherefore, because the Lord has been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth. Yes. Against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Uh -huh. Yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. Yeah. And did he not make one? Did he not make one? Yet had he the residue of the spirit. Uh -huh. And wherefore one that he might seek a goodly seed. Yes. Therefore take heed to your spirit. Look at God talking. That's right. Pay attention to your spirit. And let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. Don't let none deal treacherously. No like, dirty dealing with your wife. For the Lord, the God of Israel. The Lord, he, he extinguishing himself. For the making Lord. Making himself distinguish yes. that's right. from all other fake gods out here. That's, that's right. right. Why do I refer to Israel? Because I delivered them from Egypt with a mighty hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yet there were many idols that's that right. was wished up by the Egyptians. That's right. 
and idols that was handmade by his own people, Israel. That's right. But none of these idols were a deliverer for the people to the people. That's right. Uh -huh. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 16. That's what? For the Lord. For the Lord. The God of Israel. God of Israel. Saith that he hateth putting away. Yes. Yes. He hate divorce. That's right. Hate. God, God said he hated. Hateth putting away. Hmm? That's right. All right. That's right. So today. In the 10th chapter of the book of Mark. Back in Mark 10 and verse 11. That's what? And he saith unto them, whosoever. Oh, here come present truth now. Present yeah. truth. Right. Crushing what was truth in the past. That's right. Crushing it. That's right. What did he say? And he saith unto them, whosoever. Whoever. Shall put away his wife. Uh, God, whosoever. you false prophets have got a lot of people in trouble. Oh, yes. The false prophets will ruin your life. Yes, they will. That's true. Yes, they will. They'll ruin your life because you go to these men who claim they are of God and they're supposed to have perfect understanding of the precepts of God, the scriptures of God, which is a divine GPS system to govern the people of the earth. That's right. But instead, you go to these dumb dogs in the office That's who right. can't bark. Cannot bark. And besides giving you present truth, they give you a lie. Behold, ye trust in lying words. What? In Jeremiah chapter 7 and at verse 8. You trust in lying words. That cannot profit. Don't, you can't profit. You, no profit. No can't profit. gain nothing. Finish up Mark quickly so I can go back to Hebrews now. Back in St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. Yes. And he saith unto them, whosoever Whoever shall put away his wife, put away his wife and marry another and get another one. committeth adultery against her. That's just as plain. That's plain. Just as plain, that's plain as black and white. If I look at a goat, I don't think that's a large rat. No. No. If I look at a raccoon, I don't think that's a cat that's standing right. on both legs hopping. That's right. That's right. Jesus, the boss. Amen. The boss. That's right. Says what? And he saith unto them. Whosoever shall put away Whosoever shall put away his bishop, wife. Bishop, bishop shall put away his wife. And marry another. What is it? Committeth adultery all you against her. All you apostles, all you prophets, all you bishops, all you elders, all you pastors, all you deacons, all you brothers, and all you missionaries, right. all you women and all of you men. As long as your Hallelujah. first companion is alive yeah. and you got another one, I don't care the position of your church. Right. I don't care the position you're holding your church. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young. It doesn't matter the advice right. of some toucan Sam good for nothing bishop that's done right. gave you. If your first wife or first husband is alive, Amen. the boss, Jesus said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, Whosoever shall put away his wife. There was some raggly Ann and Andy yeah. homemade fella that made a podcast on me. Yeah. Hmm. They always doing it, you know. They use my name to get viewers. <laughs> he said, Pastor Jennings is a liar about divorce. You know why? They want to hold on to them, right. them, that second set of brawls. Ooh, that's right. You want to hold on to that extra set of panties. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I, I, I just want to swing slow to make sure I connect. That's right. That's right. That's right. They fight me bitterly. Bitterly. Amen. Because they want to keep that adulterous relationship, that adulterous marriage. That's right. That's right. You, you got to put Bible over yes. booty. <laughs> Am I right, I said? That's right. Hallelujah. You got to put Bible over booty. That's right. You fellas that's fighting me over divorce, it's because you're so attached to booty, you're willing to reject the Bible, That's but right. I'm going to put Bible on your booty. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. And he saith unto them. The boss. Amen. The CEO. That's right. The commander. That's right. The Lord 
God of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, He says, Whosoever, Whosoever, shall put away his wife. Yeah. And whosoever. 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 All right, preacher, get anointed over this. That's right. Put your hands over your ears now. And <laughs> come, come on back. Come on back. You want to put your hands over your ears? All right. You're a dodger. You're a dodger. You're in a dodger. Yeah, all right. Come on back. All right. That's right. Whosoever. Be an apostle and ignore this. Ignore this. Be a pastor and an elder and a bishop and ignore this. That's right. Every preacher that got a second wife while your first wife was living and you die like that after you heard the gospel of God, you're going to wake up in hell. That's right. Hear me? And he says unto them. You can be buried with a bra and underwear in your casket. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know I ain't out to make friends with nobody. Nobody. No. I was. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was made a preacher. Amen. And I was made by hands of heaven. That's right. Made to preach God's word and let the world know what God's purpose is. That's right. That's right. That's why a lot of these churches got so many people because about 30 wives of one man is there. One man. Who got about 300 children. <laughs> That's right. That's and right. some of these babies belong to Bishop. Oh, yes. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. right. And big boss, but she rubbed your head too long. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Rub your scalp too long and massage your shoulders too long. Too long. <laughs> Do you hear this? Ecclesiasticus chapter 23 and verse 18. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 23 and verse 18. You can make all the podcasts you want. Oh, yeah. But you and your second wife, if you don't quit, if you don't quit, don't quit. if you don't quit. That's right. You know you got to be honest to give that second man up. Oh, yes. You got to look past how good he is to you. That's right. Yeah. Got that joint account together, that house together. Hallelujah. That house together. He bought you that Maybach. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you a brand new set of dentures. <laughs> what? Amen. What? Amen. That's right. Brought you a brand new set of, they had them specially custom for you. Custom. Didn't, even, didn't even make them out of porcelain, made them out of pure pearls. Yeah? That's right. So every morning you get a buffer that you buff your car with. Amen. All you got to do is grin, mm -hmm. and he gets buffed. That's right. The moment you step outside, I don't care if your teeth gleam so, until the reflection blind a pilot <laughs> who's 32,000 up feet up in the air. Amen. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Everybody got to come back to the Bible right. or go to hell. That's right. I didn't say some of you. I said everybody. Everybody. There ain't no in-between. There's heaven or hell. Believe the Bible or don't believe it. That's right. You would like for it to be something else. Oh, yes. But it isn't. But it isn't. It's God's way. That's it. Or no way. That's right. Hear this now. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 23 and verse 18. Says what? A man that breaketh wedlock. A man that breaketh wedlock. Saying thus in his heart. Saying thus in his heart. Who seeth me? Huh. Come on. Amen. Who see me getting my second wife? This is this what you're saying. That, that's right. That's right. Uh -huh. I am compassed about with darkness. Oh, I can hide. The walls cover me. Oh, even the walls got me covered real good. And nobody sees me. That's what you think, buddy. What need I to fear? What should I be afraid of? The Most High will not remember my sins. Oh, no. oh. That's the mindset. That's the mindset. Not even the Most High going to remember my second marriage. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Such a man that think like this, such a woman that think like this only fear people. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord. And you don't yet know that the eyes of God. Are 10,000 times. His eyes, yeah. his Amen. sight. That's right. Are 10,000 times. Brighter than the sun. Brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men. What? Beholding all the ways Beholding, of men. Beholding, looking. Amen. At all the ways. Of men. 
Glory to God of man. And considering the most secret part. And God considering everything you've done secretly. He knew all things ever they were created. What? He knew all things ever, ever they were created. Every act every before act. you done it. That's right. Every act you plan to do. That's right. Every act. You will do. That's right. He already know it. He knew all things. He, he knew. He knew all things. He knew it. He already had that knowledge. That's right. He was just waiting for you to arrive to fulfill what he already knew about you. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them after all. After they were completed. He looked upon them all. He looked upon all creation. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. And where he suspecteth not, he shall be taken. And where he don't have a clue, he right. shall be taken. God going to get him. That's right. That's right. You're not going to get away from this no. preaching. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. God have sent this message to warn the world. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. He made me a warner oh, yeah. to the world, to every preacher. I That's don't care who you are. That's right. I don't care if you're old as Methuselah. That's right. If an angel come from heaven this afternoon, he better bring what I'm bringing. That's right. Or let the angel go yes. to hell along with everything else. That's right. As I said before, so say I now again, the any man. Bring any other gospel that differ let from this. I said at the Apostle Paul, let him be a curse, which means let him go to hell also. Also. That's right. Finish up the 10th chapter of Mark and then go back to the 4th chapter of Hebrew. Back in Mark chapter 10, we're at verse 11. Follow me and get me. And he saith unto them, whosoever shall put away his All wife. All of you that make little podcasts and little videos little trying videos. to uphold your second set of underwear. Mm. You don't want to turn her loose and don't want to turn him loose. That's right. You can cuss me out, call me a liar, call me a false prophet. That stuff don't move me. No. Oh, no. God himself only have one wife. That's right. So I said, God ain't married. I didn't say God is married. Ha, 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 ha. But the Lord going to get married. That's right. The Lord's bride is the church. That's it. And the actual wedding is when Jesus appeared in the heavens in the heaven. and present to himself a glorious, glorious church. Glorious As church. it stands now, he's espoused to one church. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 2. Guess get Bible. For I am jealous over you with godly Listen jealousy. Listen at the Apostle Paul. I'm jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband. I have espoused you to how many? One husband. One. One husband. The church is engaged to one God. That's right. And that I may present you. That I may present as you. As a chaste virgin to Christ. You see, the church got to be presented as a virgin. That's it. Amen. You see what happened to the churches now? You've been touched by other religion mm. like a man that would defile himself and a woman that defiles herself in the act of fornication. That's right. So if this is what happened to many of you so-called apostolics. Yeah. Some of your teaching was clean. But now other religious beliefs came in. An unlawful seed began to spill from the preacher. That's right. And you became pregnant with damnable teaching yeah. and damnable beliefs. That's right. Which made the congregation a congregation of bastards. Bastards. Not sons. That's right. Do you hear the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Give me the book of Hebrews here. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says you're a bastard. That's right. And not a son. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12. What is a bastard? A bastard is a child that come into the world unlawful. Yeah. Out of wedlock. It has the title bastard. Bastards. The speed, the seed was spilled unlawfully. That's right. Not by God's permission. Yeah. The permission of God is there when the marriage is biblically. That's right. One husband, one wife. That's right. That's right. But whenever, hear me good. The preacher got a teaching that is unlawful, uh -huh. unscriptural. Then he's dropping seed, oh, yes. not from his lower nature, but from his mouth. His mouth. He's dropping words. That's right. And it's dropping in the heart of the people that mistakenly think it's God's word because of ignorance. That's right. And now you become mentally and emotionally impregnated. Mm. By the rot and damnable teaching. That's right. And just like when a woman carry a child, her physical body gain weight, 
when you carry a lie, you gain weight. It's oh, yeah. called sin. Sin. Bible said, let us lay aside every weight, weight of, of sin. sin so you become heavier and heavier and more comfortable in your rotten and damnable doctrine and the truth of God come That's to right. trim you down. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Truth Amen. of God come to trim that fat down. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We come to trim off women preachers. Amen. Who oh, take yeah. off? Huh? Amen. Come to trim off deaconess. Oh, yes. Come to trim off junior apostles. That's right. Come to trim off, don't have your hair covered, sister. That's right. Come to trim those pants off the women. Oh, yes. Hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, yes. Come to trim off that racist, bigot belief. That's right. Come to trim off that Holy Ghost without speaking in tongues. That's right. Come to trim off that Father, Son, and Holy Ghost baptism. That's it. Come to trim the fat of the Trinitarian lie. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Until there's nothing left on you. Let us lay aside. Do what? Let us lay aside every weight. Uh, every weight of sin. Which do it so which easily do it beset so us. so easily beset us and let us run. With patience. The race. That is set before us. Who shall we look to? Looking unto Jesus. What? Looking yeah. unto Jesus. That's the mistake that you folks made. That's it. You ain't looking to Jesus. You're looking to your bishop. That's right. You look into your so-called preacher. That's right. The Jerry Curl out-of-date head reverend. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. 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 Are right. you getting the old man? Looking unto Jesus. Looking. Amen. Unto Jesus, the author, originator, and finisher, and of, the finisher of our faith. Over to God of what we believe. Hebrews chapter 12, now we're at verse 7. All right, come on, William. If ye endure chastening, if ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. You see, viewers, the word of God that God gave us is hard. Oh, yes. God is dealing with you. God dealeth with you as with sons. As with sons. For you what? know, when mm -hmm. I was a child, my father dealt with me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I was hard hit. Ain't no need for me to complain about getting the beating. I should have done that, which uh, caused me not to get the beating. That's right. That's right. So I look back at it now, it was my fault. Yeah. But I didn't think it was when that belt was dancing upon my hide. That's right. When the belt hit, I moved. Oh, yeah. You know, like the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Ghost hit, you move. Belt hit, I move. That's right. Amen. And then when the belt stopped, I kept moving. Amen. Because I was somewhere either in the corner or in the bed, somewhere rubbing. That's right. That's right. The belt, the belt was landing. Oh, yeah. The belt was landing at so many places, I didn't have enough hands. Then eventually it wore off. That's right. That's the way. <laughs> that's the way hypocrites are about us preaching. Oh yeah. They look at what come out of my mouth and say, you see how mean he is? He could have said it nicer than that. Ain't nothing wrong with what I said or how I said how it. You said I'm it. not your problem. You are your problem. That's yeah. right. Use a sinner who claim you's a saint. <laughs> That's it. That's the problem. That's the problem. You a sinner who claim to be a saint. That's right. And you hide in these churches like a gopher hide under a block of wood. <laughs> and you hide in the churches and remain your sinful, wicked life of perversion. That's right. And here we come along with the Bible stripping the covers off of you. Oh, yeah. And now the heat of the gospel is on you. Oh, yes. And you don't like it. Your pastor don't like it. No. But every preacher that yell about the truth of God over, uh, about us mm -hmm. over social media or television or radio is because the heat of the gospel got him. It's got him. He don't like it. No. He's getting stung too much. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, man, this message can't break up false teaching. Oh, yeah. It breaks it. It bulldozes it down. That's right. Which forces the preacher to come back over social media to try to grab for straws to put right. all his pieces of lies back together. Amen. And we come right back right again. Back. Oh, yes. And knock it down. That's right. But it don't take a lot of pressure. It don't take a lot of, because the lies these men have are so weak, it don't require a lot of scriptural pressure. <laughs> That's right. Now, we just come very easy with the Bible, plug it, knock it down, and, and it makes them scramble. Oh, yes. Yeah? 
That's right. Glory to God. Come on, Williams. If he endured chastening, God dealeth with you if as with sons. If he endured chastening, God deal with you as with sons. Well, what son what is he whom the Father he chasteneth not? Whom the Lord don't chase. But if ye be without chastisement. If ye are without rebuke, if we are without correction, if we are without putting being put in check. Whereof all are partakers. What? All are partakers. Everybody got to get it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All. All Everybody. Partakers. Your pastor, your mama, your That's grandmama, right. your daddy, your slap happy grandpappy. I don't care if you're so old, you got five canes. <laughs> the word yeah. of God going to jump on you while you got five canes. That's right. You got a cane to support each finger. That's right. Huh? But if you be without chastisement, if you be without rebuke, whereof all are partakers. If God say everybody go and get it, I believe it. That's right. Oh, yeah. All but are don't, partakers. Don't, don't, don't brag no. and say, well, look, I haven't got mine yet. Keep breathing. That, that's right. Because the Lord says, all are partakers. How much? All are partakers. You got yours many times, didn't you? Ed? Oh, yes. I ain't even going to ask Shade. I know you got his. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, you got yeah. yours already, didn't you? Bobby, you got yours? All the time. Yeah. I got mine. Oh, yeah. Think about it. When I get mine, he got me a preacher. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Go right to the Bible. Right to the Bible. <laughs> what the Bible say? <laughs> and when he come at me with the Bible, I'm not ducking. Not ducking. God armed is too wide. <laughs> That's right. I try to lean that way. I can't duck. That's right. A real man, a real woman won't duck. That's right. Over take God because you want to be what God wants you to be, and you are take it. Oh yes. Are oh, you listening? But if you be without chastisement, if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers. Wherein all oh. are partakers. What do God call us? Then are ye bastards and not sons. Don't blame me. Bible says you what? Then are ye bastards. And you're not what? And not sons. You're not a son. That's right. No. Oh no. Not sons. If you reject the counsel of God, he look at you as a bastard. Bastards. In other words, he look at you as not belonging to him. That's right. That's right. You preachers out there that don't believe Jesus Christ is God after you heard it. Mm -hmm. You are a bastard. Then are you and bastards? Yeah, yeah. In fact, if you used to believe Jesus Christ was God, yeah. you was his child. Mm -hmm. But then when you converted and now said he's not God, you went from a child of God or a son of God to a pulpit bastard. Bastard. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. When you once was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and now all of a sudden you denounced the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you went from a child of God to now an unbelieving bastard. That's right. When you once believed there are apostles now, you was one of the sons of God. Yeah. And now you say there are none, you are briefcase carrying, Cadillac driving, pulpit stopping bastard. <laughs> bastard. That's right. That's right. Get me! That's right. Hear me good, hear me good, hear me good. That, that's right. But if you when your church didn't believe in women preachers, ahead, then all of a sudden the revelation came from hell, yeah. and then the bishop ordained his wife. Yeah. who used to be one of the mothers in the church. Mm. She's nothing but now an old bastard. <laughs> That's right. An old bastard. That's right. Are you kidding me? That's right. Every woman I saw ordained a woman preacher, Hallelujah. you've been ordained an evangelistic bastard. That's right. Preacher. Do you hear the Bible? But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers. How much? All are partakers. Your preacher won't get you, so we'll get you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Your preacher won't get you because he wants your money. Oh, yeah. I'll get you because I want your soul. That's it. Yeah. Huh? That's right. But, then, hallelujah. but if you be without chastisement. If you're all without it. Well, of all our partakers. You don't like this. I know you don't. No, they don't like it. I know you don't like it, but it's for you anyhow. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if you be without chastisement. You be without chastisement. Well, of all, all our partakers. partakers. The word of God said, you what? Then are ye bastards. You what? Bastards. You what? Bastards. You what? Bastards. And you feel that a watch and say it along with Williams. Bastards. What are you? Bastards. 
What is your pastor? Bastards. What is the whole woman preacher staff? Bastards. The junior bishop? Bastards. Amen. Amen. That's right. Do you hear this? Then are ye bastards. Don't believe Jesus Christ is God. He's ba speaking in tongue. He's shouting. But what is it? Bastards. He's a speaking in tongue. What? Bastards. He's an organ playing. What? Bastards. He's a choir directing. What? Bastards. Hallelujah. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. That's right. Amen. Come on, Dad. Oh, they don't like that, Pastor. Come on. What the word of God says. But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers. What did God call you? Then are ye bastards and not sons. And don't bleep this out either, Ron. Don't. That's, That's right. right. It's in the Bible. It's don't in the Bible. touch it. That's, That's right. right. Don't touch it. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> Some people ask why certain things was bleep because certain stations won't let me say things. Right. Even if it's in the Bible. Right. Because the stations get offended. Mm -hmm. When I preach against homosexuality, certain stations really keep up a fuss because sometimes the ones that's in the station is watching it at that time. Yeah. I don't care if Tiny Tim grandchildren watching it. <laughs> Go ahead, Pastor. Are you listening? That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right, go back to Hebrews, huh? Back in Hebrews chapter 4. Chapter 4, begin at verse 1 again. Hebrews chapter 4, we're at verse 1. Everybody follow me and get this real good. This, the, the Holy Ghost brought this to me. Yes, Amen. And, and, it, and it's good too, brother. That's good. Come on, William. Hebrews chapter 4, we're still at verse 1. All right. Let us therefore fear. Let us therefore be afraid. Lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest. I'm scared about going to hell. Oh, oh yes. That's why I will stand boldly by God's permission and thunder this thing Sunday. to the world. That's right. If I ever was captured in a foreign country and brought before a firing squad and said, do you have any last requests? I say, yes, the one last request. <laughs> Take this cloth off my head and untie me and give me a Bible and just let me preach my last message. Come on, That's right. Jay. That's right. Yeah? That's I right. don't want no last meal. I don't want no pork chop and some ham hocks and some... No, 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 no. No. Nope. Give, give me a Bible. And let all, and I, who are you going to preach to? All the ones that's pointed the gun to me. That's right. Oh, that it give me such joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what I want. Hallelujah. Follow you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's what I want. Wonderful. that would be my last request. Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Take this thing off my head. Take this sheet off my head. Untie me. Yes. Give me a Bible. Yes. Who you want to preach to? All of you that, that's firing me. Hallelujah. That got the guns pointed. Let, let me preach Come on. to you. Come on. And then let heaven convert you. Hallelujah. And until you and your guns come through speaking in tongues. <laughs> that's right. Going down in water. Go that's to right. God. Yeah. That's my last Hallelujah. request. Hallelujah. No, I, I'm not requesting no meal. And my last request Beautiful, is not brother. to see family members. No, no, Beautiful. no, no, no. My last request is to preach the word of God. Wonderful. I want to see God work on your heart Hallelujah. right in front of my eyes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I want. Wonderful, brother. Hallelujah. That's what I want. It's beautiful, brother. Or it take God until I hear the firing squad cry out like they did in the days of Elijah. The Lord, hallelujah. he is the God. He God. The Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. He is the God, hallelujah. 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 That's my last request. Wonderful, brother. Hallelujah. I don't want no fine meal. Go ahead. I can do without that. Go I'm ahead. used to long fasting. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. You starved me three days, I don't fast longer than that. <laughs> That's right. You starved me five days, I don't fast longer than that. That's right. You starved me seven days, I don't fast longer than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Jennings, what's your last request? Mm. Take this pillowcase off my head, Kevin. Untie me. Mm. Are you going to run? Oh, no, I ain't running. Hallelujah. Mm -mm. Don't have to run. 
Give me a Bible. Mm. We ain't got no Bible. That's all right. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's a, hallelujah. Yeah. Don't have no Bible. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Before this thing was written. Hallelujah. And ink and paper. Oh, yes. The word of the Lord came to the prophet. Came unto me. And you hear them saying, Thus saith the Lord. The Lord. Mm -hmm. the Lord. So if they don't let me have this, that's all right. That's all right. The word still is alive. That's right. And still can be preached. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What do you say, son? Let us therefore fear. Let us therefore fear. Lest the promise being Lest left the us, promise being, being left, us, left us, of entering into of His rest, getting into the kingdom of God. Any of you should seem to come. Any short of, of you seem to come short. For unto us was the gospel preached. Now listen at this. Amen. Give chapter and verse. Hebrews chapter four, we're at verse two. We want to do everything it takes right. not to come short of God's promise. That's it. God is going to live up to His promise. Oh, yes. And He taught us or gave us information from the word that we can live up so we don't miss the promise. That's right. If we miss the promise, we ain't got no one to blame but ourselves. That's right. You can't tell the Lord, well, he made me do it, she made me do it, that made me do it. No, 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 no. You got to, you're going to give an account to God for the deeds that's done in your body. That's right. Hear this. For unto us was the gospel preached. This is Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4, we're at verse 2. Notice the second verse. Hebrews Unto us was the gospel preached. Was the gospel preached. As well as, well as, unto, them. as unto them. But the word preached. Listen at this. But the word the preached. Word preach did not profit them. Did not do them any good. Not being mixed with faith. Because what they heard, their faith wasn't mixed in it. Which means they did not believe the information. And as a result of them not mixing their faith with the word of God, what good was the word to them? The word preached did not profit them. Not yeah. being mixed with faith in them that heard it. If you don't believe it, don't believe it. Doesn't matter because it's true. That's right. But if you don't believe it, that's right. Then the word will not profit will not you. Not profit you while you're hearing it. That's right. That's right. So hearing the word of God is not enough. No. Faith come by hearing. Hearing. Hearing by the word of God. The word of the Lord. I don't understand it, but I believe, believe it. it. That's right. That's it. I'm hurting from it. Yes, but I believe it. Believe it. That's right. I got to give this up and give that up, but I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. 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 But the Hallelujah. word preached. The word preached. Did not profit them. Did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith. Not being mixed. Mixed with faith. With faith in them that heard it. Amen. You want those biscuits to rise. Yeah. You got to mix the right stuff in it. That's right. That's right. You want to rise in the first resurrection. Go ahead. Man. Your faith must be mixed. Mixed. Within the hearing of God's word. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Amen. God Amen. is blessing the truth of God on such a scale that the other churches are not being affected like this. That's right. Our faith, faith. is thoroughly mixed. mixed. Oh, we take God and what he gave us apostles. That's right. That's right. Thank God when we go in any town, my faith is mixed in the book. Mixed in there. I already believe we're coming out on top. That's right. All the time. That's right. I don't think there's no city, no town, no country under the sun so difficult to break. Oh, yes. My faith is mixed. Mixed. And what he gave his apostles. That's right. Mixed in it. Mixed. Yeah. That's it. If you want to profit in God, your faith must be mixed. Mixed. Intertwined. Mm. Oh, take Hallelujah. God and what he gave his apostles. Hallelujah. For unto us was the gospel preached. It's being preached. Hallelujah. It's being preached to you. That's right. Hey, yes, that, it is. That, that's right. 
Yes, it is. You don't want to come to church just to say, well, I'm a member of first church. So what? Oh, yeah. No, no. Do you believe what is written yeah, here? That's right. That's right. That's it. The Lord is doing it so that even the unbelievers and the enemies, they can't deny it. There's not a preacher in America or the world who claim to be holiness or apostolic or whatever right. is going around the world and hundreds, hundreds are repenting, going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ today. That's right. That's not taking place nowhere in the world. That's right. And God allowed this to be. So when those get over the air and fight yeah. and keep telling the people, it's not of God. Don't watch them. It's not of God. They can't help it. Because they keep seeing the people marching. That's right. Marching. That's right. That big old sign, baptism. Oh, yes. Marching. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's Going right. down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name Christ. of Jesus Christ. Look at the two brothers here. What organization y'all came out of was the PAW and UPC? PAW. A PAW, a ex PAW deacon, a ex PAW elder. They heard us preach about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. PAW don't baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. No. UPC don't either. Yeah. They baptize in Jesus' name. Yes. And all of you out there that was baptized in Jesus' name, yeah. you ain't baptized. That's right. Someone say, isn't that how you baptize? No. Oh, no. There's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. You got Joshua, son of Nun. Yeah. In Hebrew, there are no J's in the Hebrew alphabet. That's right. So the name Joshua in Hebrew is pronounced Yahashua. The English translation of Yahashua is Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Jacob and Esau, the brothers, when look at the name Esau in Arabic, it's pronounced Isa. Yeah. In English translation, the name Isa is Jesus. Yes. Yes. In the book of Acts, yeah. you had a Jewish false prophet, false prophet. by the name of Bar, Bar Jesus. Jesus. And uh, you had a fellow laborer with Paul called Jesus Justice. That's right. This is why you can't be baptized simply in the name Jesus. Jesus. Because which Jesus do you have? That's right. That's right. So you got to come back to Bible. The Bible. And either use the words of Peter. Jesus Christ. Or the words of Paul. Lord Jesus. Peter said Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He used title and name. That's right. Title and name. Right. The name Jesus and the title Christ. Christ. Let you know the anointing or the power is in the name. Right. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Paul come along, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Name and title. Right. Let you know the name Jesus is superior or above all other names. Right. And salvation don't come in any other. Any other. So he baptized Lord Jesus, which distinguished Yahashua, yeah. which That's distinguished right. Esau. Yeah. It's distinguished from That's Bar right. Jesus. Yeah. It's distinguished from Justice Jesus. That's All right. of you that was baptized simply in the name Jesus, Jesus. you're still in your sins. That's right. That's right. You got to be humble like my brother Elder Gray. That's yeah. Right. And the deacon here. That's oh, yes. Right. Because when you want to get in, you're going to do whatever. It you'll swallow your pride. Yes, you will. In other words, you don't want to be like the example that I made about buying stock in the company. Yes. Right. And then when you retire, you find out you ain't got no stock. Got no stock. You don't want your pride to interfere with your journey with God. That's right. Until you're too proud and somebody will look, I've been walking around pastor for 30 years, I ain't going to be baptized. I don't care what you say. Get Pastor Jennings out of it. 
I'm telling you, the way you baptize, yeah. nobody in the Bible is baptized in Jesus' name. That's right. Nobody. nobody. Just like nobody was baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Nobody in the Bible was sprinkled. Yeah. Nobody in the Bible bowed their head and raised their hand and accept Christ. That's right. Nobody in the Bible prayed the sinner's prayer. Yes. Nobody in the Bible talking about I'm just going to accept Christ as my personal Savior. No. Nobody was baptized and the apostle said, Jesus' name. No. Nobody. Come on back to Bible, apostolics. That's it. That's right. You apostolics come back to Bible. That's it. You Pentecostals come back to Bible. Amen. You claim you love it so much. Come on back to your first love. <laughs> That's right. Or die and go to hell, you arrogant, hard-headed hypocrite. That's right. Come on back. Oh, yeah. Who got to come back? The overseers. The overseers. The bishops, the elders. Oh, yes. All the local pastors. That's right. Everybody, you baptized in Jesus' name, you got to get it over, and you got to baptize them over, over after they repent. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, yes. Glory to Go God. Ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Come on back. That's right. And a great company of the priests. Yeah. The preacher got to obey it. We're obedient. Let's get the Bible before this in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 6 and read verse 7. A great company. Of the priests. Of the priests. We're obedient. We're obedient to what? To the faith. To this belief. That's it. A yes. great company great, of the preachers. Great company. Was obedient. To the faith. To the faith. Go back to Hebrews now. Back in Hebrews chapter 4 and right verse 2. Follow me real good. For unto us was the gospel preached. Glory to God. Unto us was the gospel preached. Was the word of God preached. As well as unto them. As well as unto them. But the word, the word preached, preached did not profit them. Did not do them any good. Not right. being That's mixed right. with faith. Pastor Jennings, suppose I'm struggling with something. Does that mean I don't believe the Bible? No. No. No, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. It means you're struggling with something. That's right. But your faith in God and in God's word will help you in due time how to deal with the struggle and overcome the struggle. That's right. That's right. Are you getting? Oh, yeah. That's it. Hear this. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. You see, the gospel today the gospel. is hardly being preached today. No. There's a famine in the land. Famine. Not for bread, not for water, but for hearing of the word of God. That's right. And you can see the famine that's in the land because the people are spiritually dry. Yeah. People are more focused on miracles. And I want to, I, the, the man with the short arm, all of a sudden his arm get longer. That's right. Yeah, come on, Jay. The woman with the dislocated hip, all of a sudden her hip go from her knee and rise back up to the right place. Amen. Preachers put you back together like a bunch of Lego blocks. <laughs> that's right. I don't care if your hips get in place, if your hips was a size 24, and when the preacher done healing or done praying, you're 64 inch wide. My Lord. Until you can hang a bucket on each hip. <laughs> what? My Lord. Or a cowbell on each hip, and everybody know when you're coming. Amen. Jinga, 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 jing. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. You and your hips better come on back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. I Get me? For unto us was the gospel preached. You know, I love to make it so plain that a fool can get it. Amen. No one can turn the TV off and scratch their head and say, what did he mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go get ahead. me? For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. And what? But the word preached did not profit them. Word preached done them no good. Why? Not, not being mixed with faith. To who? In them that heard it. You're hearing it. We Your faith got to be mixed in what you heard. That's right. So you can benefit That's it. from the word of the Lord. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's oh, right. Yes. If your faith is not mixed in what Jesus gave his apostles, you will never benefit. No, you won't. From what the word of God says. So then faith cometh by hearing. Do you hear this? In Romans chapter 10 and at verse 17. So then. Faith cometh by hearing. Faith then come by, by hearing. hearing. Hearing, but and hearing, but what do I got to be hearing, William? By the word of God. Nice. That's right. That's Faith right. come by hearing. Hearing, but what you got to be hearing? Hearing by the word of God. That's all I got to offer you. <laughs> that's, that, that's right. That's right. That's all I have to offer you. That's it. Word of God guides us in this life. Oh yeah. 
Thanks be unto God, hallelujah, and prepare us oh, yes. for the life to come. But I say, have they not heard? Oh, do you hear? Oh, everything go back to hearing and believing. Yeah. That's right. Hear this now. Romans chapter 10, we're at verse 18. I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Yes. Yea, their verily, sa their sound, their went, sound out. went out where? Into all the earth. Oh, oh yes, I'm seeing this being done now. <laughs> and what else? And their words, their words unto the ends of the world. Hallelujah. God is, God is using the truth of God to fulfill this. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We're being Augusta, Georgia this week. That's right. Amen. That's we right. already won the battle. That's right. Amen. Right. We already won. Wonderful, man. Wonderful. We already won. Before, before we get there, we have, That's wonderful, brother. The city already belongs to us before we get there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Suppose I ain't no suppose nothing. <laughs> That's right. The city, the city belongs to the truth of God before we get there. Wonderful, brother. Amen. We're just going down there to, to collect yes. what's ours. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost Collection Agency is coming. That's right. The Holy Ghost Collection Agency is coming. That's right. Because the Lord said, all souls are mine. That's it. Didn't it say so? Yes, it did. Hallelujah. That the Lord, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah. That the Lord of God of heaven said, "All souls are mine." So we going to collect what belongs to the Lord. That's right. When we go to a, when we get ready to go to Alaska this year, we're going to collect. Oh yes. When we go to Johannesburg, South Africa, we're going to collect. That's right. When we go to Malawi, we're going to collect. That's right. When we go to the all Muslim country, the United Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. We're going to collect. That's right. When we go to Greece, yes. we're going to collect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we go to Damascus and Syria, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to collect. That's right. Yes. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost says what? But I say, have they not heard? Have the glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This thing uplift your spirits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give you joy. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. Man. Give you joy and Hallelujah. give you healing in every part of your being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Lift every burden that you have. Hallelujah. Amen. Make your trust. Hey, hallelujah. Make hallelujah. your trust in God deeper and broader than you ever had. That's right. Hey. Hallelujah. What do you say, sir? So then faith cometh by hearing. Faith come by hearing. By hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Hearing. Hallelujah. No matter what you struggle with, you keep believing in that book. That's it. Hallelujah. 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 Doesn't matter what you're trying to overcome, you keep believing in that book. Hallelujah. 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 Go, hallelujah. Go with it. Hallelujah. 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 Faith come by hearing. Oh, then faith comes by hearing. Hearing, glory to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter how hallelujah. dark things look. Hallelujah. It don't matter how dark things look. Hallelujah. If your back get up against the wall, hallelujah. let faith be up faith. against that wall with you. That's right. You keep believing in what God faith. said. Faith coming by hearing. Hallelujah. Remember the Bible said the word preach. Did not profit them. Did not profit them. Not being mixed not with faith. Not being mixed with faith. In them that heard it. The word preach won't profit you. Hallelujah. If you don't believe in it. Don't believe in it. Your back up against the wall. Hallelujah. Then let faith get behind your back and pry you off the wall. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, let's say God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word, hallelujah. hallelujah. The word preach did not profit them. Don't profit you. Not being mixed with faith. If you don't mix it with faith. And them that heard it. You got the word of God being preached. Hallelujah. And you have your faith. That's it. Take your faith. Mix it with the word. So you can benefit from it. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Anybody want to be baptized? Give me Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, you that are here. Hallelujah. 
God wants you to be sorry for your sins. That's it. He wants you to repent. Repent. Be sorry about being a sinner and committing sinful acts. That's right. That's it. And that conviction will be in your heart. Oh, yes. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How much? Every one of How? you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away in the Lord promise. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to be right with God today and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet if you want it. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet if you want it. All of you that are standing, my brothers, go with that brother over there. Wonderful. Go with them brothers. If there's any sisters, go with the sisters also. Hallelujah. Wonderful. The word Good preached. Word. Did not profit them. Did not profit them. Uh -huh. Not being mixed with faith. Not being mixed with belief. In them that heard it. You're hearing it. You're, you're hearing it. We're hearing it. Don't miss out on your opportunity of going back with God. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible said. First, first, first verse again, quickly. Let us therefore fear. This is uh, Hebrew 4 and 1. Let us therefore fear. Lest the promise being left us. Lest the promise being be left us. Of entering into his rest. Going back with God. Any of you. Any of you. Should seem to come short of it. Should seem to become short of it. Look at yourself now. That's it. And if you here that are, are coming short. Short. Where there's things in your life where you know if the Lord come, you ain't making it. That's right. That's right. You know if the Lord came right now, you just won't make it. That's right. And if you know this, Hallelujah. take your faith, Hallelujah. mix it, mix it with the word being preached. Hallelujah. So you can profit by it. That's right. That's right. Don't just come to church to mingle. That's right. And to meet. Amen. Seeing who's there. Why would you waste such time and waste your life? That's right. To worry about who's there. That's right. The moment you come to church just to look who's there, you should have stayed home. Yeah. Or if you come to church just waiting to tell, get someone told, you're better off going to hell from home. From home. That's right. Church. It's like the ark that Noah built. Oh, yeah. Designed to escape the judgment of God. Oh, yes. Do you hear this? For unto us was the gospel preached. And what? As well as unto them. As well as unto them. But the word preached the word did not preached. profit them. They didn't gain nothing from the word that was preached. And the reason is? Not being mixed with faith. Because they did not believe it. And them that heard it. They heard it. They heard it. They heard it from them that walk with Jesus. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. And if they didn't take their belief and mix it, That's it. and the teaching of those that walk with Jesus, Lord. look at us today. That's right. Judge yourselves. Yes, yeah. Don't worry about nobody else. That's yeah. right. All that stuff that's hindering you back and holding you back, let that stuff go. Yeah. Or, or be a fool and hold on to it and end sure. up destroying your journey. That's right. Going back with God. Ask yourself, how bad do you want to be right with God? That's it. Don't keep making that excuse. I can't do this unless I, I don't want to hear none of that and God don't buy it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No one know how I feel. No one know what I'm going through. Everybody going through something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God ain't, God ain't paying none of that no mind. No. Oh, no. You wake up to the fact that this is a personal journey. That's right. With you going back with God, That's it. you will take your faith and mix it. Mix it. There's no way I'm going to be walking with God all these years, and then when he come, I'm done. Laboring to save thousands. Oh, yes. But then I don't go in for what? That's right. Over who? That's right. Over what and over who? Yeah. Think of it. Oh, yes. Over what? Over who. And over who? Right. It ain't worth it, is it? No! God will help you with your struggles, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I pray that God give you strength. 
And God encourage your heart and lift your spirits. Hallelujah. And you will understand that it is the God of heaven that can help you overcome on anything under the sun. Amen. But you gotta take your faith mix and mix it, mix it. Hey. with what you hear taught. That's right. That's why sometimes it's good after the word of God is preaching, you get home and get to yourself. Sometimes it's good to get to yourself, not get on the phone and then That's right. That's meditate. Right. That's right. That's right. In fact, let me give you Bible for this real quickly. The first chapter of the book of Joshua, Joshua. and uh, verse 7 and, seven and 8, real quickly. Sometimes some of us never do this, and I advise you to do it. Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. You know the way eight. you do. Sometimes you have things on your mind, and the more you think about it, the more crazy you get. <laughs> that's right. That's true. That's true. So why don't you do something that's profitable for you? Yeah. Think over the word of God so the better you get. That's right. Are you listening? Yes. Amen. Hear the old man now. Everybody all right? Oh, yes. Listen. Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. What is it? Only be thou strong. Only be thou strong. And very and courageous. Very courageous. Be very brave. That thou mayest observe that you to may do. you may pay attention to do. According to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Yes. Turn not from it Don't to the right hand or the to, right the left, to the left. That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Yes. This book of the law. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. What shall we do about the things of God? But thou shalt meditate therein. How often? Day and night. That thou mayest observe day to do. Hear? That's it. Sometimes you got to put the phone down, TV off, iPad off, computer off. Hallelujah. Turn the word of God on. Yes. Man. And reflect. That's right. Not just on how good the message was or is. Take you and see your place yeah. in the word of the Lord. That's right. And then sit with vigorous judgment, honest judgment upon yourself. That's right. And it's all said. Hallelujah. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you for the word, for the truth of the gospel, my God, that was preached in our hearing. Yes. We thank you, Father God, how you put the word in the man of God's mouth and allowed us, my God, to hear thine instruction. Bless us now. Not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Bless us, O oh God, to believe, my God, as the gospel is being preached. And after, my God, that the word may profit us. My God, we thank you, Father God, for everything that you've been to us. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. Remember the man of God, strengthen him. Continue to bless him and keep your word in his mouth. Keep him, my God, standing in your counsel. My God, we thank you, Father God, for those that went down and going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Look down upon them and bless and help them to hold on to you. My God, in Jesus Christ's name. My God, now we thank you for all things thus far. Bless us and protect us and keep us. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.